Aiden here with Treeco. Today, we're doing a bunch of healthcare, injecting trees with phosphagette and fungicide. The reason for this is because all these trees were planted by landscapers. And unfortunately, those landscapers put bubblers on these trees. That constant drip effect saturated the soil to the point where fungus and rot has now set into the root system. So we're going in, going to try to reverse what's happening here. We're gonna cut off the bubblers, inject to promote vigorous and vast growth, and hopefully get these guys on the right track. We have all different kinds of trees, from maple, oak, and pecan. So let's begin the process. All right, Jimmy has drilled into the cambium layer. Now the tree itself in a couple of years will either push out this plastic piece or enclose it. Now we insert the needle and apply our phosphagette with Arborjet. <clears throat> our product's inserted at about 70 PSI. So it's not just going into the drill, but out through the cambium. Jimmy's going ahead and drilling all the trees that need to be injected and I'm falling behind injecting them. And there's the irrigation that we told her to turn off. But yeah, inserting just below the phloem so the bark can heal back over. So Jimmy has spotted out the lichens growing on the side of the tree, showing this area is way too saturated, along with the moss right here, way too wet for, say, a maple tree or anything else back here. Once again, some more lichens on the side of this live oak. Way too much water on this mound. Every single tree, even the magnolias, have irrigation. So the landscapers really screwed over the customer on this one. Every tree on property is sick, not doing too good. Some trees over here we had to remove because they had hypoxum canker. That fungus is irreversible, so it will cause the death of the tree. So whenever we see that, we want to go ahead and push removal. You can tell if a tree is healthy when you insert the phosphagette because if it goes in clean like that, it uptakes nice and easy. But if it does not uptake and say the phosphagette gets stuck halfway, you'll know the tree isn't doing too well. Here on this live oak is a prime example of the root system dying off. And on the other side right here, we've got freeze damage. You can see some more of that freeze damage right here. All the heartwood is exposed. And Jimmy applied some ports on that cambium. It's like a swamp back here. Not to mention these were all put in for privacy and the landscaper stripped them all up. Take away all their privacy up to the top of the fence. And you could just trim off the back side if you don't like it going on the neighbor's side and still keep a full, full effect of foliage on the front. Well, that just about sums it up for today. All trees on property have been treated. We've got a couple cables to insert back here. Make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time.